In this tutorial, I will show you how to create an automation in Brevo. An automation is basically a sequence of actions that automatically perform when something happens. For example, we can create an automation that sends an email when someone submits a form. Let's see what this looks like in practice. To create an automation, first open your Brevo account, go to the automation section, and click on the Create an Automation button. You can create by, or by yourself or you can also choose one of these uh, pre-made workflows here in Brevo. So for example, we have a pre-made automation for abandoned cart, marketing activity, anniversary date, product purchase, welcome message, and we have other samples here as well. So you may want to explore this part However, in this video, I will show you how to create your own automation. Okay, so all we have to do is to use the classic editor, click that, and let's name our automation here. I will name this automation confirmation, all right? Because what I'm about to do, guys, is I'm going to create an automation that when someone submits a form, we will automatically send a confirmation email to that subscriber. And after one day, if he or she doesn't open it yet, another email will be sent to him or her. Okay, I hope you got it. But I think it will be better explained if we go through the process. However, in this area description, I will just leave it as is. But you can type anything you want there. And you may also uh, enable to allow your contacts to enter the automation more than once. But for this example, I will just disable that. So let's click on Create Automation. Now let's create our first automation. So we have here Add an Entry Point. And this is going to be the trigger or the starting point of our workflow. And by the way, the goal of our automation for this video is we're going to create an automation that when someone submits a form or when a subscriber submits the subscription form, we will be sending that subscriber an automated email. If you want to know how to create a form in Brevo, we have a separate video about that. The link to that video is placed in the description below. So add an entry point, let's click that and then select an entry point. A contact submits a form, let's choose that and then Let's select a form. So let's select the form that we did. I will go test form and then click OK. All right, so we're good. After that, let's click here, the plus, the plus icon, and then let's select an action. So this, uh, these are the following actions. So we're going to choose, but let's select uh, send an email. OK, and then let's select an email that we we will send to the subscriber the emails that are shown here are from the email template section so if you click in the left side menu on automations and then go to email templates you will be able to check your list of email templates as well as have the option to create a new template i have prepared an email one then click ok now let's say I want to put a delay to this automation before it will start automating again. So we can do that here actually. So just select the plus icon again and then let's scroll down and choose condition. So let's choose add a delay and let's wait or contacts will wait for. We have here minutes, hours, days. I will choose one day. So let's select one day. Okay. So... The meaning of this is the automation will stop for a day. Now, I want to add another step to that. Let's say when that subscriber opened, okay, has opened the first email that we sent to him or her, he or she will receive a corresponding another email. But if he or she did not open it, a separate email will be sent to that subscriber as well. So how are we going to do that? All we have to do is uh, to click the plus icon again, and then let's select here condition. 
if or else condition. And let's select transactional email activity. So we have here open, click, or unsubscribe. So I've mentioned that uh, we're going to use open. So we, we actually have here different email that we can choose from. So let's select the email one. So if that subscriber open email one anytime where we can um, actually choose uh, between two dates or past dates. So let's just select anytime. Click OK. And then uh, there, there you go. There is uh, the conditions here if yes and if no. So if yes, if that subscriber open the email one, we will send an email to him. So let's select the email to. We'll send the email to to him. But if not, if he did not open the email one, we will send another email to him. And let's select email tree. That's it. So just a quick explanation to this automation. When that subscriber submits a form or the subscription form, we will be sending an email one to that subscriber, okay? And after a day, if that subscriber has opened that email one, we will send email two to that subscriber. But if he did not open it, we will send email three to that subscriber. So after that, uh, let's activate the automation now by clicking activate automation. And as you can see, guys, the status is now active. So that's basically it on how to create your automation. You can add more automation. You can add more actions and conditions. Now it's time to check the other sections under automation. So we have logs, email templates, and settings. Okay, so just a quick overview of the logs. So basically here we can see the workflow logs, event logs, and the contacts in workflow so as you can see guys it has no data yet and we also have email templates so here you can check okay the different email templates so okay so we can check if it's an active or inactive email template okay and then let's select settings here you can find instructions regarding a tracking code installing this tracking code on your website will enable you to collect data about your contacts activities on the site okay so that's it under automations guys if you'd like to learn more about how to take advantage of brevo you can check out our free guide email marketing with brevo in this guide we'll show you how to implement the best practices of email marketing using brevo we will demonstrate how to encourage people to sign up for your email list with effective sign-up forms, how to write and design emails, and examples of email automation you can use. The link to the free guide is placed in the description of this video.